Hey guys, it's Elise and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Ask Elise video. It is where I take your questions from Twitter and I answer them. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first one comes from Elise W Updates and it says, Are you going to see James Charles? Do you watch and like him? Love you, Queen. Thank you so much. Um, I am not going to see James Charles and there's two reasons. One, his tickets are really expensive. Two, I don't really like him as a person per se. I love his makeup. I think he's extremely talented, but I don't really like his personality. Um, I don't really want to get into that as much, but I really enjoy his makeup. I find so much inspiration from his makeup, so I just love how talented he is, but I just don't really like him as a person. Next one comes from Ella, and it says, If you had one day to do whatever you like, what would you do and why? Bear in mind, you die the next day. Ooh, honestly, I think I would just, like, sit around, watch drag, watch a Little Mix eat as much as I want, like McDonald's, I would eat pizza, I would eat anything, and then I would just have do like an absolute chill day, I wouldn't go anywhere, I'd just stay in my room and eat food and watch everything, and then, yep, that's it, if I die the next day, but allegedly, I'd be happy with that. Next one comes from Generous Jade, and it says, do you love traveling? Um, I don't really travel a lot. Um, places I've been, I've been to Hawaii a million times, I've been to, um, Fiji, I've been to Thailand, um, like overseas places, I've been to a lot of places here in Australia as well, um, but I don't really travel, because when you travel with your family, it's where your parents want to go and you just kind of tag along, it's not necessarily what I would want to do in that city, or state, or country, so, yeah. Um, like I've been to, I've been to LA in America and like Disneyland is the place to go when you're in LA, right? But I hate rides. So when I was there, I was kind of like, okay, what am I supposed to do? Traveling, I would probably love if I was with like one of my best friends or my cousin or whatever. And we decided on where we'd like to go. Whereas when I'm with my parents, they're like, oh my God, this lighthouse. And that's boring to me. So yeah. Next one comes from Julie and it says, whose makeup would you love to do? Obviously, I'd love to do Little Mix's makeup. Um, I find that really nerve-wracking to think of doing, like, someone's makeup that's of a celebrity status. Um, but honestly, Little Mix is, like, right up there for me. I'd probably be so shaky that I wouldn't be able to finish doing the makeup, so that would probably never, ever happen. And if the opportunity came to do their makeup, I would say no, because I would be so scared. To interview them, though, I would love to do that. Um, Julie also asked, what is your least favourite of Drag Race and why? Um, I don't think I have, like, a least favourite. Like, I've seen them all, and I'd probably say, like, maybe one, two, or three, because they're not, like, as popular as four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are. So that's my probably my answer for that, is probably the first three seasons, because, like, I will re-watch from four to ten all the time, but I'll never re-watch one, two, and three. I just find them really not the best. So those are the what I'd say. Actually, change that. All Stars 1. Can't stand All Stars 1. Emily says, how excited are you for LM5? Bitches, I am shaking in my boots. Every time there's a little snippet or anything, I'm shaking, I'm excited, I'm so ready. If they dropped it tomorrow, I'd be fucking ready. Like, honestly, drop a song right now. I am so ready. Um, has Cookie says, what has been the best part of becoming a mixer? Becoming a mixer was the best part. When you realize that the girls are literally legendary, iconic, beautiful human beings that are so talented, you realize I'm in the right fandom. Um, so that's the best part of becoming a mixer. Um, who is your biggest inspiration makeup wise? That comes from it. Katie. Um, my biggest inspiration makeup wise are honestly drag queen. My biggest inspiration makeup wise is definitely drag queens. Um, I like to think of myself as very creative in my makeup. I will not just wear a shimmery brown shadow and that's my signature look. I would like to say that I wear a lot of makeup from blues to purples to green to whatever I have on my eyes. So honestly drag queens because they always do such creative and out there and oh. I love it. Like, I'm looking over here because I can see Trixie, I can see Courtney, I can see Katya, I can see Willem, I can see Alaska. Like, their makeup is honestly iconic. Katie also says Yanni or Laurel. It's 100% Yanni. Moving on. Favourite song from Salute? 
salute. Haiti Styles 11, I think that's how you say that, says, what's your favorite Sia songs? I'm obsessed with Hostage. I love The Greatest. I love either Needle. I love Academia. I love Lentil. I love Chandelier, obviously. I love Alive. I love Bird Set Free. I love a lot of Sia songs. Like literally Sia can put out any song in the history of the world and I'll be obsessed, obsessed with it. So yeah, my favorite Christmas song of hers is Candy Cane Lane. I just thought I would throw that out there. I am for women asked, what are your favorite TV shows? Drag Race, Drag Race, and Drag Race. lm 4 life 2 asked, who would you love Little Mix to collab with for LM5? I've said this before, Sia, Sia, Sia. Oh, they're my two favorite things in the entire world so for them to collaborate. Noah24 said, favorite part about having a YouTube channel? Um, definitely the interaction with you guys. I love it. If you tweet me, I'll like it. I'll retweet it. I'll talk back to you. I just love this kind of conversation we can have. Um, I love when you guys make things on Instagram. I love, you know, you be posting me everywhere. I love that sort of interaction. I just love it so much. And I tried to notice every single person on my Twitter because I know it means a lot. Like I know how it feels when Little Mix tweet me or I know how it feels when one of your favorites likes something. So I, I, I get that. So I just want to relay it back to you guys. So Deli Claire update says, what are you most looking forward to from Little LM5 apart from the songs? Definitely the tour. And I envision this tour to be the exact same caliber as the UK. And I envision this tour to be epic. And I just, costumes, pyrotechnics, maybe moving flying stuff. I don't know, but I envision this tour to be so good. So I hope they don't let me down. They never let me down. If we get a tour and they just stood on the stage, I'd be like, yeah! So, Katia Scrunchy says, what concerts or shows do you have coming up and any meet and greets? Yes, in fact. So I'm going to a Priscilla musical. Woo! <laughs> That's not exciting. Uh, well, it is, but it's not. Um, then uh, I've got a, oh, a whiteboard on here. So I'm just going to peer over. Then I've got Trixie Patel. Ah! I'm not meeting her then, um, but I'm going to her show. I'm so excited. That's in June. Then I've got Katy Perry in August. I'm very excited about that. Uh, then also in August, I have Comedy Queens, which is a drag show, and I'm going to be meeting Trixie Mattel, Jinx Monsoon, Monet Exchange. I'm so, I'm so excited. So excited. And then in September, I'm going to be meeting and watching Alaska's show. If you've been watching me for a while, Alaska was my favorite queen for the longest time. Then Trixie overtook, and I love her so much, but I'm going to be meeting my two favorite queens this year. And I'm very excited about it. I met Courtney earlier this year. I met Sharon earlier this year. So it's all happening, guys. And Katia's scrunchie also said, favorite looks from DragCon. Trixie's looks were beautiful. Her day one look, oh my God. She was roasting marshmallows on her little booth set. So fun. Her day two look, she was a Girl Scout. And it was beautiful. Like she's worn that look before. The same as the other look. And it's amazing. And every time she puts it on, I'm like, yes! On day two, Trixie, in her Girl Scout uniform, went on the winner's walk thing where they all the winners process in, even though not all the winners did, only like a few of them did. But Trixie didn't walk in. She drove in on a kid-sized go-kart with her scepter and her crown in the back from winning All-Stars 3. Spoiler alert, sorry about it. And she was beautiful. Like, that's what my home screen of my phone is, is her in a mini car. Like, yeah. And then her Dre 3 look was like a dress version of a jumpsuit that she wears all the time with her Girl Scout sash on and her pink cowboy boots. And just, she just look great. So Alaska on day two, another stunning look. Her beautiful dress with a train that went from Sydney to Perth. Like, it was so long, this train. So beautiful, so stunning. Loved that. Valentina looked fantastic, just a little simple dress. Aja's day two look where she was a sad clown. Oh my god, so stunning. I loved that. Shea Coulee's, I think it was day two look, um, where she was in like a purple lavender flower. I'm put, I'll put all the pictures up so you can see. Sasha Velour's day two look, she was a butterfly. Oh my god. Also Sasha's day one look, spectacular. Kimchi dressed as food the whole time. She dressed up as corn and butter and she, like, I think this is pancakes. I think the second one is. I don't know. Monet Exchange looked amazing as well. Um, Aquaria looks fucking amazing. Miss Cracker was bloody Rapunzel. Um, Miss Fame, as always, stunning. Thorgy wore her amazing, what is that called? The jewelry look. Amazing. So 
those are just some, but all the queens looked amazing, so that's just some. And that, my friends, is the end of all the questions I screenshotted yesterday. So, if you enjoyed this Ask Elise, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, it is at Elise W Beauty. Follow me on Instagram, at Elise underscore underscore Wheeler. And follow me on my makeup Instagram if you want to follow my makeup Instagram. That would be really nice. And that is just Elise Wheeler Beauty. Um, they are linked down below as always. And on my end card if you are curious. Um, so yeah, subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to me on Twitter. Okay, bye! It's pulling me apart this time Everything is never ending Slipped into a parallel You'll we'll never understand This feeling always gets away Wishing I could hold on longer But does it have